every good and perfect gift comes from above james chapter 1 verses 17 hello beautiful family very warm welcome back to the lovey set channel thank you so very much for coming back in most of our Ghanaian and african home in general palm oil is one of the oils that is very popular in our cooking not only that it is also used for medicinal purposes and today i like to share with you how i'm able to make this at home this is real zomi if you're Ghanaian, you know right it does not even stay on your tongue and it's so so tasty the best of the very best <laughs> so let's get started with this right now So this requires very few ingredients. Here I have my fresh palm nuts, some Aden fruit, also known as percase, and some techie berries, aka abedjuru. Okay, these are the few ingredients that you need. And of course, some water to cook the palm nut very soft. Okay, I'm going to add all these three ingredients together and add lots of water Ooh. to cook until very soft. And this has to be cooked about 40 to 45 minutes and also be checking on it anytime that it loses the water you can always add a little bit more okay so 45 minutes later this palm nut has been cooked and is softening up really really well what we're gonna do here is drain off the water nothing like that aroma of the freshly cooked palm nuts smells so good <laughs> let's get started with the pounding process i have my mortar and pistol here that is going to help me pound this really easy i've also shared how to make palm nut soup recipe here using the same method so i'm going to link it right here okay please go and watch it's so so good okay now you want to go ahead and give it a good pound and make sure that you do not locate any of the reddish skin of the palm nut okay they all will turn into something like this as you see on your screen so right. please repeat pounding all the palm nut until all is done and once everything is pounded you go ahead and put everything in your bowl you are going to add water i highly recommend you to use lukewarm water okay because it's very very easy for it to release all that you know beautiful food that you want from this palm nut extract so yes we are all set and ready to go and if so it's very important not to add too much water here as we want the consistency to be on the thicker side okay so use your wooden ladle or anything to help you stir it like this it also helps cool down the heat of the water okay because we use hot water here all right so once the water has cooled down you go ahead and dip your hands in it this is the way that you will be able to locate where the palm kernels are okay so we're separating the palm kernels from the fiber because this extra fiber that we have here you can go ahead and pound it again or just blend it and it's very very important when you're using your blender to make sure that you do not have any palm kernels in it of course we do not want to end up destroying our blender so right now we're going to strain the liquids from the palm kernels and this is what contains a lot of the palm oil so you want to strain it very well okay and just go ahead and do it two times just to make sure that you don't have any foreign particles in there just like the process of making palm nut soup right not too difficult now we have our palm nut extract and we're going to leave it and make sure that it is well rested for about three to six hours depending on how fast or quick you want to make it i just went and do my rounds and i came back and just continued extra fiber that we had i'm going ahead to just blend it in the blender no time to waste at all i just wanted extra liquids for the soup i'm using just one stone to kill two birds why not <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to be part of the palm oil process but i'm going to keep it for my soup later on
So right now we have our two liquid golds, one for the palm oil, one for soup. And the one that we are using for the palm oil has rested for six hours now and the little water that has has settled down perfect way to start our palm oil process right now these are the things that we got from the palm knot for the palm kennel i'm going to save it for summer and whenever we are bored we're going to crack it and chew it like nuts it's so good have you ever done that before if you've not please try it and for the fiber it's going to be used for our water infusion this summer and also for our grills oh my goodness i cannot wait to show you everything that i'll be using with these okay so right now we are going to get our palm oil started right the now the thickness of this you can tell how concentrated it is and that is what makes the palm oil process very easy okay i'm going to take off the thicker part and just add it to my pot and the remaining you know watch wheat path on the bottom i'm going to add it to the other one that we made for the soup because i don't want too much water, um, liquid here because i want the process to be very fast i'm not going to cook soup or anything at all okay so right now i'm going to save this for my soup that i'll be making i think during the weekends i'll share the soup that i've made with this so so good okay and it also cuts cooking time for your palm nut soup anytime that you feel like making it okay so right now we are done this is going to be stored in the freezer for any time that we need it all right so i'm going to also add my preset right now and make sure that this is cooking under low medium heat cover it halfway and make sure that the heat it's very important the heat is not very high because you don't want it to start burning very fast okay Seven minutes into cooking it, the palm oil has begun to form on top and things are really looking good right now. So, so amazing. Look at this. <laughs> so continue to cook this on a low medium heat and you're going to even get more and more palm oil. And once it becomes a lot like this, you then begin to scoop it with your spoon. Okay also choose to leave it until everything becomes plenty and float on top but i love to you know skim it or scoop it once they come up all right like that we got our first scoop of our palm oil yay <laughs> have to be repeating scoop repeat cover the pot scoop repeat until you cannot do anymore because they will be keeping coming and it's very very important to keep your heat on a very medium heat okay So you go ahead, repeat until all the liquids that is in here has completely dried out and it is going to look like this, like a stewy consistency. And you know that, no, you cannot go feather with your palm oil extract okay but if you so wish and you're not content with the amount of palm oil that you can you dilute it with a little bit of water about one cup of water and just go through the process once again as we've done before okay you're going to get even more palm oil if you so wish and okay. for this tiwi part which i even love more you can use it as your thickener if you are making palm nut soup or just scoop a little bit on your gobe or any beans recipe that you have you are absolutely going to love it so so much so yes to get a very crystal clear palm oil i'm going to fry this again for about 20 minutes 
as always on a very medium heat this is okay. also to get rid of any excess water that made it way to the palm oil okay it is absolutely smelling so so good so you go ahead and fry until all the foreign materials in here has just settled at the bottom and your beautiful and rich palm oil will just float on top just the way you want it to be just like this okay so right now we are done fam the palm oil the precocet and everything in here my goodness smells so so good so once again you're going to strain it making sure that you have completely get rid of all foreign materials in there fam try your own palm oil okay you are going to love it even more imagine this on your abomo in your okra soup in your okra stews, stews your garden egg stews my goodness so so good this is the kind of palm oil that you have to be stingy with do not discard that part that uh, you saw me put in the bowl it is absolutely delicious for some of us it is even the best part of the palm oil so don't discard it imagine having it on your gobe my goodness so so good <laughs> so we are done with our palm oil right now fam you just go ahead and bottle it up save it be stingy with it <laughs> because you made this out of love oh, fam and if you gift anyone this palm oil they're going to love you so so much really not be compared with the ones that we buy in the market all right and this is also good for coughs if you have cough or cold symptoms just add a teaspoon of it with together with some lemon juice and you are going to be healed the fastest way ever okay so so good try it if you have any problems with your cough and cold symptoms and there you have it family thank you so very much for watching right till the end i really appreciate your time please be sure to give me a like comment down below and share to a few friends and family if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovey Statch. my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home so please kindly subscribe to join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one 